the worst copywriting hacks you should definitely never use. <laughs> hey you, I'm Sarah Turner. I'm a freelance copywriter and copywriting mentor. And we got to talk about some of these hacks that are, first of all, should have died out a long time ago. And second of all, are just no good if you're playing the long game. So the first thing I want to talk about is keyword stuffing. Gross. Have you ever been to a website where you're reading through it and you're like, this sounds super strange. They're saying the same thing over and over again. Maybe it's like Botox, 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 Botox. And you're like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Did a robot write this? That's because back in the day when SEO was like first a thing and people were starting to figure it out, keyword stuffing was a big deal. Basically what it meant was, okay, Google crawls the website and it figures out what this is about by, you know, um, seeing all the different keywords that are on it. So people were like, brilliant, let's just stuff the crap out of it with whatever we're trying to capture the keyword for, whether it be dog toys or, I don't know, parenting things. Um, <laughs> so keyword stuffing was a thing that became really hip in uh, SEO. In fact, one of my first clients, like way back in the day, we we're talking like seven years ago, was a content agency that used to just have me keyword stuff basically. And I didn't last very long because it just felt so ridiculous. Um, and come to find out, Google is getting smarter and will continue to get smarter. And so now keyword stuffing is actually can be penalized um, in Google because it knows that you are not actually trying to provide value for those checking out your website. And so it's no longer as important. Things that are really gonna help your SEO are providing value, being engaging, and actually you know, being the thing that people wanna see. So that would mean that they're not bouncing off your website when they get there because it's actually worth sticking around for. That is really one of my biggest pet peeves is keyword stuffing as far as copywriting and just digital marketing hacks go. So don't do it. It's only going to continue to get smarter. Google is rather. And so it's just not worth it. Not to mention, if you've read a website that is stuffed with keywords, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It reads real awkwardly and nobody wants to stick around for that. So don't do it. And that brings me to our next one, which is random backlinking. There is a whole world of people who are, you know, buying backlinks, selling backlinks to try and increase their authority in Google's eyes. And backlinks is basically when you link to another person's website or they link to yours, rather. It's when they do that, that's called a backlink. So for example, when a website is like, oh my gosh, freelance copywriting, check out Sarah Turner Agency, and they, and they link to my website, that would be a backlink for me. So that's what a backlink is. But there's a whole world of people who are, you know, basically doing spammy backlinks. Another thing that you might see that to kind of bring this home, this concept home in case you're not familiar with it, is sometimes people will try to earn backlinks by commenting on blogs certain spammy things. So if you've ever had a blog or you've ever you know, managed a blog, you've seen people who have tried to write in the comments like get these Viagra pills, something or another spammy link. So that would be another <laughs> example of spammy backlinking. So this is something again that people are trying to do to hack SEO and it really is not playing the long game, which you know I am all about. Let's play the long game here, right? So don't just try and cheat your way through earning backlinks. Backlinks are something that you should earn by providing high value content and building your authority. Yes, it takes time, but you can do other things like reaching out to people in your industry. You can guest post. That is a really wonderful one. One of my favorite ways to earn quality, genuine backlinks is to actually encourage my clients to actually guest post for each other and hosting their backlinks on each other's websites. And that has been an incredibly powerful strategy. Another benefit of having a niche, by the way. And um, yeah, it makes everybody a winner. I also really like it because it kind of squashes and pushes back on that whole competitor mindset. Because truly, I believe we live in an abundant world and there is enough room for everyone. So that is random backlinking, a hack I do not recommend. Another one I want to talk about is plagiarizing your own work. 
I often see this when people are trying to get a word count higher. That is not a good idea because duplicating content not only potentially could hurt your SEO, although we're starting to believe that it's not as powerful as we once did, but it's just a bad idea because when people come across all your different you know, pages or they really familiarize yourself or with you, you or your client's brand and it starts to get repetitive, it can be too much. Granted, some repeats are okay. It's okay to sometimes say the same thing in different ways. In fact, I actually encourage some of my clients to not be afraid to repeat themselves, but just copying and pasting to use as a filler on a website or a blog or even in emails, that can get old and people can kind of get sick of you and think that you don't have anything original to say. So be careful about plagiarizing your own content. Another one is aiming for a higher word count just to get a higher word count. This is common when people are writing website copy or blogs, anything that includes SEO. And the problem with this is that if you're just focusing on that word count instead of on being helpful, educating, you know, writing copy that's actually going to be persuasive and encourage somebody to take action, if you're focusing on a number, you're not creating copy that's as valuable. Not only that, but it's probable that your copy is kind of boring at that point. So if you need to ditch the word count, stop focusing on it, sometimes it helps to just think about writing copy till it's done. I always say that to my clients, word counts are good guidelines, especially when we're trying to come up with, you know, maybe a opt-in and we want to have kind of an idea to talk about pricing, but Ultimately, focusing on word counts should not be your main focus. Your main focus should be on the value your copy brings, not only to its readers, but to your clients. So don't just aim to hit a word count. And finally, the worst hack of them all is to evoke unnecessary, unjustified fear. Yes, fear is a powerful motivator and we can touch on fear when it is truly there and you have a product or a service that is an actual solution to somebody's fears. That is okay. But as we all know, we are living in a very fear-driven world with a lot of fear-mongering. So please, as copywriters, do your part and do not create unjustified fear clickbaity headlines that are just trying to get that click that are you know all based in fear and then when they actually end up on whatever the type of copy is if it is not along the same lines of whatever your title was trying to say and it was just to get that click you're gonna piss people off they're gonna unsubscribe to your email list they're gonna click away and they're gonna have a bad taste in their mouth when it comes to your brand i see copywriters doing this all the time and it is so frustrating to me you can write copy from a place that is touching on pain points but also really emphasizing um, passions and desires and evoking feelings of empowerment and I promise you you can create copy that is powerful and successful using those strategies so I really want to encourage you to not evoke unnecessary fear you can always talk about the bad guys and how you're on the same team and things like that that's totally cool but please we are so over the clickbait aren't we i mean i am i don't know about you anyway hit that thumbs up button if you like this and if you feel the same way i am so sick of the clickbait so sick of the clear fear mongering i'm getting off my soapbox and i would love to hear from you in the comments and of course please don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day.